What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. This is the Third Person Podcast. My name is Chris, and with me, as always, are my buddies, Mikey and Jesse. What's How up? did I hoe there, neighborina? Both of my friends that end oh. with the vowel. Did you just call sound. me a hoe? Yep. For show you ho, <laughs> guys. What's up? We're we're playing we're playing this game called The Walking Dead, uh, season seven, episode fifteen, entitled "Something They Need." Something they yes. need. What did that actually? Did we get that line in there? Something they need. Did we? I don't know if we got the actual. Normally line. we get something, don't we? We get like. Typically, yeah. it's at least a line in the show. Maybe, yeah. maybe Eugene said it. Maybe. Who cares? Who knows? Anyway, welcome to or, the no, discussion wait. of this episode. <laughs> if you haven't checked out the live react or the the review, why don't you go ahead and do yes. that? But, you know, you can do it after this or you can pause this and come the back. The order doesn't matter. It doesn't really matter. But this is where you're going to get our inside edition. No, you're going to get our inside feelings. We're going to have our feelings are going to come out and go to you. Yes. yes. Um, all right. So you want to just jump into it? You want to just should I give the synopsis of what happened in this ep? Sounds good yep. to me. In the ape. Uh, all right, so this time around, a group of Alexandrians embark on a journey. One member of the group must make a heartbreaking decision. I'm going to say that these synopses are just getting mm. shit, more and more shit, man. They're just not yeah. good. I know yeah. last last time Jesse did his, he actually he, he reworded it and made it better. I, this time <laughs> around, did not. Um, but we're talking about the Alexandrians, Rick and them going to Oceanside finally, and we're talking about mm-hmm. Sasha has to make a heartbreaking decision. But there is a twist to that, and we'll get to that after this commercial break. Ah, you, you suckers thought that was a break. It would have been hilarious if we had a, a commercial. Uh. <laughs> and it's just us sitting here like we're watching a commercial <laughs> for like 30 seconds. Um, guys, you want to head to the hilltop first? You want to get there and... Yeah, ju- really some, there were some juicy nugs there, wasn't there? Some juicy, some juicy bits of action, and by juicy, I yeah. do mean Walker guts all over, all over. He who must not be named, but we call him Gregory, or as as uh, Jesse likes to call him Xander, which is his real name. His yeah. real name, yeah. Um, yeah. So what the fuck? We got Maggie. We got that scene where you know Maggie's out in the field doing Maggie things, trying to pull up a blueberry bush, a blue burr, a blue burr bush. And, she's uh, putting her skill. She's putting her skill yeah, out there. Yeah, she you know? knows. She knows. Um, and she, we, we forget she's a farm girl. No, I don't. You know? I, ne- I never, ever, ever forgot that, Mike. You never forgot that. I never forgot. It's kind of hard to see Martha Wayne as a farm uh, farm girl, though. Yeah. Wait, who? Martha Wayne. Why are you calling? Batman oh, she Superman? was. Uh, oh. Oh. <laughs> they when? But they never said what? No, Martha Kent, sure, but not. Anyway, look, we're getting off topic here, guys. Yeah, we're getting super off topic. Gregory, <laughs> what a what a penis head, huh? Yeah, well, we see that he lied. Obviously, he <laughs> lied to his group. So, yeah, so you know, good. Maggie Maggie puts him in his place. I know? loved it's his first it. Time. I loved it. He's like, yeah. no, nah, I I'll, give I'll him get, a break, guys. I'll you know? get this. I'll get this. <laughs> and then he's like, ah, ah help! Like, he's help. like, you do, you do it, you do it, you do it, you do it. It was fucking great. <laughs> perfect so yeah. great and then um you know yeah. what annoyed me about that though guys is that why did maggie take so long to kill that walker why was she like eh, eh, eh. i know half the time it's what just, it's, it's, when the fuck does that what, is, what have they ever hesitated in the past two years since you know what i mean like come that's on that's, so that, that's the drama yeah, yeah to make it yeah to give to give the time to xander i don't know whatever they could have threw two walkers to maggie so she had to yeah give her that's one, the extra, you know? extra time it was annoying yeah. though didn't it annoy you it does it does annoy me a little bit when sometimes it's just so damn easy and then other times they just yeah, right. stretch it a little right. bit you know it was all it was all just a i think we said like a like a emasculating of gregory yeah yeah and you know we've been talking about this for the last few episodes that and i i especially that's just a culmination of the finale that we're getting everybody in the places that they need to be in the in in the present and in the future because we all know or we assume without getting too spoilery of the comics what spoilery. maggie ends up doing you know yeah. so that's what this 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 episode was about and i'm i'm looking forward to the finale but when it comes to maggie and the gregory thing 
it just shows who's in charge, who the hilltop really back. And, you know, we know that um, that Gregory has been lying to his people. Yeah. You know what so, I mean? Which is which was great when he when they blew when she blew up his fucking spot. That was so yeah. fucking awesome. And she didn't do it on purpose. No. That's not what he told us. Yeah, I don't Oops. think I don't think she did that on purpose. It I just touches you know. his arm like it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? Fuck well, you. You deserve uh, it. You deserve everything you get. You're a piece of shit. Yeah. Well, you yeah. know the the real thing about the real the real uh, thing that I that I took out of this is uh, from the, just the Gregory Hilltop thing and Maggie is how much of a snake. Gregory is so. Let's just what did what what did we see at the end when we just went with with the hilltop to you know in this episode we saw Gregory getting one of his cronies in. Gregory had the map. Um, he had the little piece of paper. You know that he Simon was going. Given him. Yep, you know where he was going. So you know after all that and after Maggie saving him, you know it, it didn't change his mind in the positive. Right. It no. it changed him as holy shit. You know I got somebody looking for my position. And you know, and Gregory is he now. He just wants to hold on to it, yeah. Mikey, yeah. what about um, you? Had mentioned off camera. We were talking a little bit about it, discussing it a tad. We we're talking about possibly the little birdie, and and I know in the live react, you yeah, mentioned that. Um, well, that stuck out to me mm-hmm. because as soon as he said that, I'm like, oh shit, who that who you know who could it have been? Um, I have you know I have two two kind of. Um, I have two ideas of who who it may be, and I, I want to, you know, pose this question to you guys too. But Gregory, of course, is the number one standout um, right off the bat. You know, we don't see Gregory saying exactly, you know, um, uh, exactly what what Negan and you know, we didn't see Gregory giving any information like our right, Rick's planning, or we didn't hear him say any of this stuff. Right? Yeah. Could it could it happen? You know, could it have happened off camera? You know, we did we did yeah, I don't, see that. I don't know. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't know if I think. I don't do you know guys if I agree think about with Greg. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if I agree with it that it's Gregory. Yeah. Um, because yeah. we see Gregory about to go be a dick. Um, I, I don't. I don't know. You also. You also had mentioned it could be. He, you know, Negan could be lying. Yes. Or, you know what, I just, I really don't know, man. I, I was thinking about it, and I'm like, I kind of don't have any idea of, of who yeah. it really could be. I don't know. Jesse, what do you think? I, I don't know. Um, if it is Gregory, I don't see how. Right. Uh, I, I don't know. I mean, it could yeah. be somehow Dwight, maybe. But if this is Dwight's turn, I don't think it's going to be. Especially yeah. since Dwight wasn't there. Dwight is actually at Alexandria. So when the hell yeah. in between yeah. – because she got captured and then the next day is when he was talking to her and all that shit happened in this episode. Yeah. And Dwight was yeah. already in the, in, the, in the cell at the end of the show. So Long-range yeah. radios. Oh, yeah, true. That's true. I don't know, man. I don't know. But um, it's, yeah, it's, it's, a a, it's, a, it's a mystery. It's a mystery. I have well, one big one, though. Should I say it now? Or should I save it? I mean, well, we're talking I mean, about we, it. well, I was gonna say if I mean, you know, we were gonna talk about Sasha and Negan and Eugene next. So I mean, if the, if it ties into that, go, you know, let's do it. Bring it on. Well, now. no, just just the, the the little bird part. Oh, the birdie. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I, I I was you know I've been thinking like I said I have two Gregory being number Gregory, one. Right. He's your and, obvious. And I'm thinking maybe Jadis from from the the scavengers. Yeah. You know. Um, we they've kind of been a mystery and I don't have a real good vibe with them. So I don't know how you guys feel about her, but I think in a way, you know, cause we did see from the, from the uh, trailer, from the upcoming episode, we do she see Jadis and some of the scavengers on the wall there along with Rick. Yep. Now she is in cahoots with Negan somehow. What a great one. Um, you know, it, it's, <laughs> it's not, um, I always just thought from the beginning that it was just like, okay, we don't know who you are, blah, 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 this and that. Just give us some weapons and we'll fight for you. You know what I mean? So I could definitely see Jadis somehow being involved with these saviors. And then when it's when shit's about to hit the fan, they just all They're turn dead. around and put their guns up towards the, the survivors. Yeah, maybe, and maybe she was that leak. You know, you know, Jadis is close to the word Judas. Just saying. That, that, see, I didn't even think about it's that. A, it's a mix between... You know, Jada Kiss and Judah, Judas Priest. So, I'm just saying, guys. Look, coincidence? Yeah. Maybe. 
Maybe I don't you guys know. can write in the comments below what you guys. Yeah, think. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I mean, I would, here, I would, I would probably go with with her as opposed to Gregory. But I, I don't know. I just still don't know. You brought up a valid point there about it being close to Judith, Judas. Yeah, but I think yeah, we all know it's Judith. Oh yeah, well, that. <laughs> I mean, she yo, has her dad's stance. She's remember? already ready. To that's turn. true. Yeah, she's she's got her own. That's a whole twist. That's the, at the end of the season. Right? It'll be the whole thing. Oh, my God. That'd be crazy. Imagine yeah. Judith kills kills Rick at the end of the, the series. No, no, she walks out there, and she has, like, an old-school 40-year-old gangster. Yeah, Dad. What I do now? <laughs> it's just Dad. like, oh, God. Oh, my God. And then Carl and Judith, have a f they, they fight each other. Oh, my God. That'd be, it's going to be a great finale for the end of the series. Um, let's move on. Let's go to Sasha, man. So, yeah. we were all, I mean... I, we, when, when she popped on, we were all like, oh, no, when we saw that she was captured. We we're like, well, all right. I, I, I personally enjoyed the time skip. I enjoyed that they showed it went right to her being like, yeah, bitch Did got you? caught. I enjoyed it. I was like, all right, cool. We didn't have to get like 20 minutes worth of fucking bullshit and talking and watching her trying to kill people. No, she, I would have thought. I mean, she probably took out a few more. She, she know, did. I, I was, she did something you know, because she. He said, "You fucking, you know, you caused the fucking the uproar. Yeah, you caused the fucking." Hell. He don't see. He don't care. So, so this dude David, who and and you guys, you know, we were all like, "Well, this is from the comic book," yeah. you know that particular scene, but it wasn't with her. It was but with, not precisely. It, it actually they did it really well setting it up. I didn't expect them to get captured then right, because yeah. in the comics, they take a truck, they smash into the fence. Right. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, you know, um, obviously, so, so the, the whole point is we're all sitting here going, Sasha's going to turn so one way or another. Negan's going to turn Sasha, not in, not on his side, which he thinks that he's doing, but he's going to end up turning her into a zombie or a walker. And it's going to play out the way it did in the comics. Spoiler alert. We're really bad at warning you beforehand, but I know, right? We always <laughs> whatever, man. We always say the spoiler thing after the fact, uh, right? But I mean, you know, essentially, what, what was the girl's name again in the comic? Holly. Holly, Very right? Holly. Holly. Who? Um, uh, who was she? Was she Abraham? Was she with in the comic? Who was she mm, with? In the comic? Yeah, yeah, she was Abraham. with Abraham. So, yeah, we're all thinking that this is going to play that out, which is great. I mean, they've already set the damn thing up, which is great. Um. You know, but Sasha, you know, what I wanted to say about Sasha was how, you know, there's a nice twist in there, man. The whole scene was basically um, where she's talking, you know, they don't show her talking to Eugene, but you hear her and you hear her upset and upset. And I'm sitting there going, that doesn't sound genuine. And then they close up on her no. face and it wasn't genuine. This bitch is trying to get something so she can get a weapon and stuff. I mean, smart on her point part. She's got no other recourse. She's got yeah. no other way yeah. of getting it and obviously use eugene i don't think she's happy yeah. with eugene he comes in and talks to her and he tries to oh, no. get her to change but no so we all we're all like wow is she gonna really kill herself this and that he ends up giving her a pill at the end of the of the episode and she's like well fuck this, fuck, is, right? this isn't yeah. what i wanted you know yeah. so i don't know what she's so I, I don't know you know she she's mad she's just she's pissed because i don't know she's like i don't know what the hell i'm gonna do with this so um yeah, what, I mean, what do you guys think? What do you think about that turn? That little, that little, like, oh, she's she's still scheming. She's scheming. Yeah, she's still in breathing. <laughs> if she's still breathing, Negan's still you know, dying. You know, I'm not. I'm like, I'm like, um, how you said. Just, just to to quick uh, get on to how Sasha, how we first saw her. You know, once the episode started, her right directly in the cell. I thought it would have been cool if they would have showed a quick little running through the, you know, a little bang bang, pack oh, pow 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 kind that, of thing. Yeah. You know, they didn't have to get really crazy into it. and But maybe we'll see that. Maybe we'll see a little flashback thing with her. No, but, with you're, the but you're missing the it. point, man. Mm -hmm. They had to have 20 minutes of her talking to Eugene through a door. Hello. Yeah, well, that's that's my that's my biggest thing. You know, because, in you know, when we first saw her with her little shtick and, and, and um, you know, just trying to manipulate Eugene in the way so she can get a weapon of, or whatever. I need, like, a knife or a gun. Yeah. Or yeah. a knife or a gun. Um, I, I kind of... You know, I, I was thinking for a little bit, like, hmm, you know, maybe she is just, you know, but just for a little bit. And obviously, like like you said, Chris, her expression said it all and told it all. But there's one little thing um, that I wanted to ask you guys, too, I had um, thought of watching it was when Sasha was talking to Eugene through the door and she was saying how, you know, I want to end it and this and that and how um, I don't want to be a, a part of Negan and I don't want to be a part of Negan... Uh, helping Negan possibly hurt 
you know, our friends. friends and she right, yeah. said our friends, our people. She said that. Yeah. You know, how do you guys feel Eugene took that? Oh, I mean, he's obviously making a long play against Negan, so I think he felt good about it. No, but just I, 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 with her words, like, do you think that it affected him? No, I He's don't hearing? think so. I because don't... they're both in the same space. You yeah. can do what Eugene did and pussy out, right, just to save your own ass. Or, um, you know, you didn't want to be fighting. any way affiliated with with Negan and helping him in any way. Because there are Keep things fighting. that Eugene – I don't think Eugene turned – but I still don't agree with what Eugene is doing in the way that he could potentially be doing something that can affect and may get some of his his friends killed. You know yeah. what I mean? I mean, so that's just yeah. what. How do you think Negan took that? You know, information from Sasha or those words from Sasha, or did he just it didn't affect you, him at all? You mean like, Eugene? You you said Negan. Uh, uh, Eugene. I mean, yeah. Yeah, so. um, yeah. I mean, I. I don't know. It didn't look like anything. It looked like he thought it was falling on deaf ears, what he said. And then he excused himself. And then he got her the pill because he legit believed that she wanted to kill herself to end yeah. it. He's like, I can see you're at the end of your rope, basically. And I can see that you're dedicated to doing this. So I'll, I'll help you do that. Basically, he thinks he's like, because we were friends and, you know, I'll do this for you. So I don't yeah. know. I, I And I'm not convinced that Eugene hasn't turned, to be honest with you. And, and, and really? I mean, call it turned or not, whatever. I think he's. I think he thinks that this is where he is right now. I, he yeah. even said it. He said it to her in this episode. He says, "I thought I could be strong, and then I saw what stronger brave." He's. I saw what brave people. Yeah. What happened to real brave people? Actual brave yeah. people. I saw that, and he's like, "That's not me. I can't do it." Yeah. Yeah, he's talking about the scene in the woods at the premiere. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, yeah. he said he saw that, and he's like, "I, I don't." And and not only that, and then I think I think even with Spencer and stuff too, like he saw like this is yeah. a, is a man that confronted the whole time. But the entire this is why I think he's he's actually not kidding and he's not playing a long game because from the minute they got back to Alexandria after it, he has done nothing but whimper, nothing but whimper and coward. That was his mo up until every when he, time with the bullets. Every you know? time he came up, right? Every time. Negan came around, or Simon, or anybody. He just immediately pissed his fucking pants like a like a fucking like you're yelling at a puppy, yeah. you know. Yeah. So I okay. I'm I'm not convinced that he hasn't turned. I think he I think he kind of right. I think right. he's kind of doing what he has to do, you know. So hey, Negan, looking looking pretty sinister this time, but not not sinister, but uh, in the live reaction, Jesse, you said intimidating, and I agree. I think um, intimidating and charismatic. You know, and and I mentioned it in there is that, you know, I think, you know, we, we've been kind of going back and forth about why, you know, how come no one's, he doesn't have like an entourage or he doesn't have anyone protecting him and he walks around and everyone's still fucking kissing his dick, right? And I'm yeah. thinking, I said, like, and again, in live reaction, I said, you know what, I think he likes it. I think he likes living on that edge. He likes it because he, he, He's just cracked enough to be like, yeah, I'm going to fucking I'm just going to basically walk out around here naked without any protection. And if yeah. anyone tries to step to me, I'm going to fucking deal with it. I also think that if someone did step up and took him out and like right before he died, he'd be like, all right, good for you, motherfucker. He's like, good for you. You got a good set of balls on you. And then he die. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I think I yeah, think I that's who that. he is. He's I, playing Russian roulette and he you likes know, it. That's what I'm saying. People. I think he likes it. Yeah. I'm absolutely positive now that he enjoys that because yeah or that's my rationale to be like this show is fucking stupid because it's making like that nobody is gonna fucking kill this man he's not even a big man he's not even like a martial arts you know um master yeah. he's just some dude with a fucking bat who doesn't even have the bat half the time you know he 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 rules with he rules with an iron fist or an iron <laughs> you know he 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 it's a fear it's a fear, and I think that just like Eugene is 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 surviving there, as long as you you know as long as you are a, you know good little soldier. But obviously, you're, right, you're gonna get your. I mean, look at what these guys have Eugene sitting in a room with playing Atari, eating popcorn or whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's it's potentially. I think that they a lot of these people see the good. It outweighs the bad. So as long as you do what you got to do, despite what a kind of an asshole he is, 
um, and how we. Yeah, they're you know, just like you know what I I could be out there dead. I could be out yeah. there doing because obviously they, they all they, they all came from it. something horrific. Yeah. In their own yeah. stories, their own ways. I'm sure they were like living on the fucking you know off of nothing, and and they came here. So I get you're right. I get it. That, why not? Why not? Because you know what? You know that these are people that worked for shithead bosses or were housewives or were people that were already working. They were underlings. So you're right. It, it, it's it's human nature. It's comfortable. Why don't we, we leave the jobs we hate yeah. because it's comfortable? And yeah, I'll just deal with the shit from this guy just for another day and in another week and another year. So you're right. That's exactly it. I, I think you're right. You know, but I yeah, still, about, I still uh, don't think there's any reason why someone can't just stab him in the fucking dick and be right. done with it. <laughs> anyway, you guys want to move on? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, how about we run over to Oceanside? Oh, it's such a wonderful place this time of the year. <laughs> Actually, Explosions it is compared to the first and, time we was there. I know. Um, beginning of the episode, we got these fucking dope ass walkers. Yo, they've been doing some really cool stuff with walkers man yeah we've been seeing a lot of different walkers this season and i'm enjoying the shit out of that so we got to see them from this this um beach tanker that popped down doesn't make any sense but you know what i'm saying we saw that that was pretty cool i'll just real quick uh, my favorite part was when tara who um again we talked about this in the review how the tara's hit or miss she's either really good in the episode or she's really shit this episode she was good and she shows up and she's like, listen, you, you, you don't have a lot of time. I need to, to know mm-hmm. whether you're going to be with us or not. And she's like, oh, nope, not, you're out of time. I thought that was really fucking fun. I was like, oh, shit, they're out of time. And on cue, it was like, boom, you know? Uh, yeah. And that was pretty cool. That was, And that then was, every, all the girls just went, ah! Yeah, yeah. Except for two, you know? Right. That, so, I mean, so, so I, I enjoyed that. I enjoyed that part. That was cool. Yeah, that was a really good scene. Uh, all except for the old lady holding the gun. Jesus Christ, that was oh, horrible. I know. Jesse hates Jesse, the Yeah, Jesse. I do, too. I hate proper it. gun I etiquette, man. Michonne, yeah, some too. proper Michonne. gun etiquette, man. Michonne, yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes I mean, the like, weapon is too big for them or something. She's, right? she's like holding it like this. And it's like, you grab your wrist <laughs> and you hold with well, one she hand. Obvi- well, you Ooh. know what? That, but you know what, Jesse? I guarantee you that that was that was the point. I guarantee you that they said make They're it. You know, them you're not a professional. Anything like you, years. you're gonna defend. Right. This is why your men got fucking taken because you're fucking don't know what you're doing and you need people. You see, this is and I, I keep referring back to our other videos, but. Mikey said in the live react, he's like, now they're going to, sh- these people are going to see who Rick and the group really are. And that's the point. Yeah. This is why these people have been able to survive and not like Negan. Like, yeah, they came into Alexandria and stuff and they had to do certain things in Alexandria yeah. to ensure that their family lives. Yeah. And then they made everyone else their family. And now it's a, now that's the family. You know what I mean? So yeah, yeah it's growing pains. You got to crack some eggs, all that bullshit. But yeah. look, look, let's not fucking kid ourselves here. You, you're gonna fucking listen to them because they're they're yeah. one of the they're one of the main people that are, have survived this long. Anyway, yeah. I digress about that. That's you know. Yeah, I, for the ocean side, for me, obviously, with with how much we we despise the original ocean side first, you know, the first meeting. Um, I did enjoy Tara in this episode, and and there was one there was one. Um, part that you know after watching this i kind of jotted down and it was there's a lot of these videos there's a lot of people talking i'm sure we heard it on talking dead and things like that how if you were to see um if rick's group and the survivors weren't the group that we started with that if we started with negan's group or we started with um, maybe oceanside we started with some of these other groups that you know on the show how would we feel about rick's group you know what I mean? Would we see them as the bad guy because they question. come in? Yeah. Look, look at what they did when they first met up with Hilltop. They made this deal. We're going to take these guys out. They were so cocky. And that's all we saw was the breakdown of Rick and the group this this season. But we saw right off the bat how they were just so cocky and so amped to go in there and to go into the, the, these, the solar um, the solar pat- the solar building or whatever that was, the satellite building. Uh, oh, it was a radio yeah. tower. The radio tower, whatever, of Negan's men, and just kill them all. And remember how Glenn questioned what they're doing and all this kind of stuff. So, without getting too crazy into that, I, I, 
it, you know, after watching this, it, I got all that back. I got all of how they attacked and all this, and how Rick's group always just went in and attacked. But how do you feel about how they went in there and into Oceanside and just pretty much said, "Listen, we can do this the easy way or the hard way." Really, um, you know, uh, would we see Rick and this attempt to get these weapons from Oceanside as the bad guys if we didn't? Um, start with them you know um i think it's it's a it's it's to the bigger picture it's all a matter of perspective so Uh, you know obviously we started with rick we know where they came from yeah um you gotta understand though so 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 you say say, like we're going to follow negan's group well negan negan's group has a different story than 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 rick's group because negan was one man that basically cobbled together all these things, and we see how he rules. So that's a very different series. That'd be a, de- a very different thing. Yeah. Would we? Would we? You know, empathize with them? I don't think so. Most of us would not, because that's a dictatorship. Uh, Rick, on the other hand, like seeing them, what they've done, what what have they done? What they did was bad. You know what? You're right. It's easy for us to be like, yeah, Team Rick, all the way. However, yeah, when you stop and think about it, it's like, wow, that was pretty fucked up. But, but, <laughs> Tara did spend time. Tara, we did hear Tara telling mm-hmm. Rick in the beginning, this is them, this yeah. is what they do. She already knew Rick's decision to do this. I'm, I'm sure it wasn't taken lightly. I'm sure Rick doesn't really just do things. You know, he has in the past uh, periodically, but for the most part, he knows he's being, he's trying to be as calculated as he can because he doesn't, he knows people are going to die and he wants to make as little, uh, you know, as few of his people. He needs, right. He needs that group. He, he, you know, obviously the junk people are capable of fighting and want to fight. They just, he has to motivate them. The ocean side, he's already been informed. Look. They don't want to do shit. They've already been fucking decimated, and and they're not going to help us. He's like, you know what? They don't have to help us then. We're going to take their fucking weapons, though, and basically force them to have to help us anyway. So what did what he was what he did right? (sighs) Ethically, no. Realistically, Yeah, I, I mean, not that, I mean, like I said, it's just it's just a question to, to just to, how did you how did you just, did, you know, did you feel like, whoa, like that was a little, you know, but we all understand why, you know? Yeah, we understand why. they. Did I think it. he why I think he didn't it. think that. I mean, they obviously didn't show it and we may see it later, but I think yeah. he he, he yeah. it was calculated. He, he knew he understood, you know, through ta- from, through Tara that, you know, these people, these people need a motivation as well and i'm going to motivate them differently than than someone else yep. you know like blowing up something in the fucking woods for no apparent reason <laughs> that was just a yeah, show for us. Yeah, was, yeah. yeah right just what do you think man what's your take on that so we've had leaders in the past you know all the ones that are like oh yeah well come join us and uh we'll take care of you i.e the governor the uh, terminus joe even Every, though joe yeah. wasn't all uh, sunshine and rainbows he was a douche but he was still like yeah we'll take care of you we yeah. take care of our own Claim. and they turned out to be horrible people and not really that straightforward with you yeah. however Rick and them they barge in there they're like look here's what we're gonna do we're gonna blow up your force we're gonna get you guys out here we're gonna say hey look we're taking your guns we're gonna take out these guys that have been terrorizing you terrorizing us terrorizing the other two or three civilizations that are making up yeah. this little like rhombus that we have going here and we need your guns we're gonna take them we're, yeah. we're doing it okay you can either join us or you can not but this is for care. you assholes guns. this is for you <laughs> don't you understand this is to help all of us you fucking morons that's what he's basically yeah. saying and that's so straightforward and honest mm-hmm. that you, you'd have no choice to be, like but to believe him yeah. yeah so yeah however on the other hand you also have negan who's straightforward but he's a douche. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to come in. You're going to give me half your stuff. And you're going to deal with it. I want half of it. And then I want this much each and every time yeah, that's that what I it come is. back. I, it can change at any moment. Jesse, um, Jesse, uh, mention again, uh, again, like you did in Live React. Mention, because um, you, you had said you kind of understand, knowing Negan's backstory and what he was telling Sasha about why people switch and why not just switch. And Do you remember what you were saying about that? How you, you kind of agree, you agreed with the sentiment being like, look, you know, I, he, he says, I'm trying to do... 
I'm trying to keep us all safe. That's his whole thing. And, oh, okay. You so know? he's being genuine there, obviously. He's wanting to keep people safe because, you know, we've seen his backstory. And spoiler alert, if you haven't, bear with me for like 10 seconds here. He's actually a caring guy that has been struck by tragedy ever since his wife died. Yeah. So, I mean, he he is genuine in the fact that he wants to protect people. He yeah. wants to protect civilization. He's going about it the wrong way, though. Uh, and yeah, he knows this, but, yeah. but it's the only way he knows he, how. He's, he's what Shane would have turned into. No, not really. Shane was just I don't a, think so. like short-sighted. I mean, we've talked about this before <laughs> on our on our What If Shane Was yeah. Still Alive video. And if you haven't seen that, go check it out. It's it, just the more, but, I, you know. I, I, but Shane was... I, well, we don't have to get it. I mean, No, but Negan, Negan, Negan was always a dick. Shane was not really Shane inside wasn't a dick he just he just he was a very strong willed he was unstable he was just strong willed and and I think it should be this way Negan has always been kind of a dick bag regardless yeah. cuz that's what he that's just that's his true. personality he's but caring, anyway but he's a douche yeah what so are you gonna do? um all right so uh yeah, let's uh, wrap it up with So that Dwight. was Oceanside yeah. um well, uh, at the end here why don't we just briefly talk about Dwight and um, obviously, we all saw it coming. And, and again, spoiler alert for the comics: this is where, assuming this is where Dwight turns in the mm-hmm. comic, it's you, you, you're privy to Dwight's turn only when Rick meets Ezekiel, and Dwight's there already. And he's like, "I've been working with." Ezekiel says to Rick, "I've been working with Dwight. Dwight wants to find a way and work together to bring Negan down." That, yeah. That's when you find that out in the comic that Dwight's yeah. turned. And then it goes on, and then Dwight and Rick work out whatever they're going to work out, right? So, um, but yeah, so you know, so this time around, we, you know, he's he's in the he's in the cell, and you know, I mean, first obvi- first, uh, first person in there, right? Right. I mean, you know, we're obviously like, all right, first you know, we, we know he's gonna he's gonna turn, he's gonna yeah. he's gonna do that and stuff like that. So it's not a stretch to be like, oh well, you know. Uh, but then again, I guess I could see how people that that don't know the comic could be like, "Oh wow, oh shit, he stayed in that cell." Okay, well, I guess he's he's serious about helping them. You know what I mean? Because obviously, if you see all that, shows. all of us were like, "Yo, of course he stayed in the cell. Of course he wasn't. Yeah. Of course he allowed himself to be captured." And Why put, Rosita? Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, so. Um, but I again, just love but Daryl's reaction. Oh, Dar- <laughs> yeah. Oh, man, Daryl's reaction was good. <laughs> it was like a beat. And then he just went after him, you know. Yeah. It was it was so like it was good, man. Okay. He's gonna end up turning out to be pivotal uh, for how long? I don't know. Um, could I see him maybe killing Simon, you know, or something like that? Or, um, but oh. you know what I mean? I, I forget. See... Mike doesn't know all of the comic like we do sometimes. No, I don't. I, <laughs> I, know, I, I, know, I know. I don't. But I mean, hey, listen. We know in past practice how. Sometimes they'll take bits and pieces. Yeah, it doesn't comic. necessarily you know I mean, so mean that's where they're going to go. It doesn't always mean. But you know? they follow the they, major arc. a lot later than he did in the comic. Yeah. I mean, well, yeah, 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 yeah. This is a whole lot later. Pivotal. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they take a lot of the like the pivotal stuff. Or like that, you know, just like these huge the milestone uh, scenarios. Yeah, they stuff. take, the, yeah, they exactly. take the, the big story beats so, they kind of put in there. My, my, one, my one beef about the whole Dwight thing was um, now – he why did he turn why did he change because there's nothing left for him at the at you know at the sanctuary he he left after sherry left you know what i mean he was there because of her he was protecting her by being a good soldier with negan she was protecting him by blowing negan you know what i mean (laughs) until until it all just went you know, there was an explosion within Sherry that said, I got to get the fuck out of here. Yeah. My biggest yeah. thing was, wouldn't you think it would have been kind of cool if they left together? Yeah, of course. You know, that they conspired together. They had several meetings on the on the, on the the staircase smoking their cigarettes where they could have said, listen, this is what I want to do. Maybe, she, she, maybe you know, in, in Sherry's note, maybe she felt that um you know she did say he was a changed person you're not the same person that i married or whatever i don't yeah, remember yeah, exactly yeah. what she said but i guess there was there was a quality there weren't there weren't the qualities that she saw in in dwight in the present and that's why she left off on her own but um i just thought it would have been cool wouldn't if they would have conspired together you know I, I, mean? I agree and, yeah. and joined together or something yeah. it would have been a nice, a nice story too. They may knows? still. I'm you sure don't know. She may show yeah. up at Alexandria. We'll, we'll, see her. we'll see her again. You know, yeah, we'll see her. 
It was necessary for them to leave at separate times, though, because, I mean, if she hadn't left first, then she still would have been, like, a liability for Dwight, and he wouldn't have ever left Negan. He would have never left Negan, right? Again, like you you said, you know, he, he was doing it for her. He was doing it to keep her safe. Pretty, pretty fucked up shit, man. You know, people do things for other people, and it's it's pretty it's a pretty interesting situation. Which is why The Walking Dead is so cool, and why the comic has been so successful. Is it's a it's a it's a people story. It's about it's about people and and human nature at its core. In of every and how, in yeah, every way, how you would how you would handle it. You know, and, we and spoke about this that season, lot. despite its flaws, is going to be great. Because it's taken from one of the greatest like sections of the comic. Yeah, yeah. I think I think season eight is going to be fucking kick ass, dude. Depending so, on how long they really, but you know, they really you know build up this war. Once it's on, I'm sure there's going to be several. It's not like they're going to say, "All right, good guys, bad guys, go at it," like some revolutionary old school, you know, uh, <laughs> battle. But you'd be surprised. Yeah, well, I'm sure they'll. I mean, because from the comic, from what I know, it's not just one big thing. There's there's multiple. There's multiple. You We've know, already so... skipped one of the fights, though. Wait, what? No. We've skipped one of the three fights. At this point? Or no, we yeah. haven't gotten to that one yet. No, we've skipped three fight, Or we've skipped one of the three fights. The one where Holly is captured. Oh, that's a good point. There's, well, we'll there's see, we'll three see how they fights. They can, they We're about to come up on another one here in the midst. Well, you know what it is. You know what it is. They're doing that. Okay, so well, let's do this at the very end here. We'll, let's throw out a little, um, uh, what you might call it, theory. Let's throw some theory out there. What do we think is going to be in the finale? Where do we think it's going to end? Um, uh, I'll start off since my mouth is already open and words are coming out. I think we're not going to get multiple fights, Jess. I think we're going to get one fight. I think we're going to get one one fight. I, w- I, I would like to have at least two, and you know the one I'm talking about, where things happen, right? Because that wasn't the Holly fight, was it? Um, With one of our favorite characters being... Yeah. yeah I think it was. It might have been. Well, point <laughs> is... See, we're trying not to spoil now, but the point is I don't... It's I feel, hard. I know. I don't think... I think it's just going to be one big fight. Um, I don't think the fight's going to happen at the end of this finale. I think it's going to start, and I now I actually do agree with Jesse that you're going to see like that grenade fly over or, or whatever it is, whatever they're going to do, they're going to set it up. So th- I think the whole whatever probably hour and a half of, of what's coming next week is just going to be gathering the people, getting everything ready, setting it up, and then there's going to be a twist somewhere, and then those plans are going to get messed up probably, and it's just going to be a real quick dash for something. I think that's what's going to happen. I don't think we're going to see the fight. I think it's going to I think the fight and or fights will take us to mid-season, and I still think we're going to get a break mid-season of yeah. season 8, and we're going to get that time jump that we get in the comic. That is still my theory. But this I'm let Mike go first or yeah. second there because I have a little bit of information oh, uh, shit. that you guys are gonna want to know. You bastard! All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> For me, uh, I am I'm definitely thinking uh, along with with you, Chris, that this is not going to be. Um, uh, we're not going to see a big war uh, in this finale. I do agree with you where we say that Rick and everybody is going to be settled up. We did see in the in the trailer for next week. We saw the scavengers there with them. Um, with with the survivors um so i'm we also saw dwight back with negan at you know at alexandria's gates so that could be the whole sasha reveal the whole sasha possibly dead you know walker whatever so i'm definitely gonna i'm I'm definitely gonna uh, say that there's going to be um some kind of uh, someone some Big, maybe a big character on both sides may may die. I can possibly see a Simon. I can see you know us losing Sasha, possibly maybe like a Rosita or somebody like that. Or, um, but I definitely think it's going to be like when we're at the beginning of the race and this that gun goes off and everybody just run. It's going to be not a mega battle, but it's it's for whatever reason Negan's going to leave in however way that is. And he's gonna say like it's on, motherfucker. You know. Yeah. And that's yeah. Oh, so where... so you think so you think there might be there is gonna be some type I of skirmish. Gonna... All right. Yeah. 
but they'll get away. Negan will leave, and then it'll that. it'll end on a, on a somber, like a, a low note, being a like positive note for our guys. For the yeah, we survived. For the right. All right, now hold on, hold. Je- I, Jesse. Look at his face. He's he's just like <laughs> you guys are fucking wrong, assholes. Come on, lay it on us. You're not too far off, Mike. You're actually not. We do have the information, uh, thanks to you know a few sources. Uh, such as Kirkman and Gail Ann Heard, that we are getting a definitive end to this season. No cliffhanger. Oh. Yes. Yeah. So this season is going to be cut and dry. This is it. Oh, shit. So. Why didn't you say that first? Because you just made us waste our breath talking about what we thought was going to happen. <laughs> that changes I, everything. I just learned of this information two days ago. So. That means that my whole grenade over the wall. No good, yeah. Yep. Cut time jump in the water. They're doing time jump then. They're not doing a time jump. I think because remember in the comic, we get this brief period of relief, like just a small one, before they take off after Negan and them again. Right, but. So I think they're going to do the exchange. Mm-hmm. And then once the exchange happens, there's going to be a firefight. The grenades are going to be thrown, mm-hmm. and then Negan and them are going to run away. That's it. We get Rick and saying we're going to go after him, and then cut. Yeah. Oh, so that's maybe, like, that's the definitive. Yeah. You think Ugh, that sucks? I think it's going to be like a win for our guys. Like, like, like it's you know, like guess, all we yeah. got was beaten and bashed. Our you know Rick and. And and now here's a little you better watch your ass, Negan, kind of a thing. Yeah, However that yeah, works yeah, out. Yeah, Maybe yeah, yeah, Ezekiel yeah. will swoop in. Maybe Oceanside will swoop in just when we think that our heroes are losing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what? Negan's gonna do oh, the Skeletor, yeah, you know? Negan's you, gonna do the what do you the got? Skeletor, damn you. Yeah. You know? Kind of uh, a thing. The comic. He's not far off from the comic. Yeah, well that's true, yeah. But we'll see. Without going too crazy with you know, we'll see with the comic stuff. We'll see how close they get. Yeah. Like, do they really yeah. want to spoil us so much that? I mean, I guess in a way they do because if you are a comic reader, you're really getting a lot from you know a lot of the getting a lot of fan things. service. Yeah. yeah, man. This has been yeah, the closest, man. and not only the closest in so you know story wise, but closest to where they are in the comic as well. Yeah, we're not that far off, to be honest with you. Like you know? thirty or forty issues. Yeah, and that's like, and you know, so. Well, no, no, we're we're no, like probably about no, fifty. More like fifty. We're, yeah, we're fifty yeah. issues because yeah. I forgot we're on like one sixty eight, one sixty nine. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, know. um, all right. Well, I think that's enough, guys. Um, this is this has been uh, our pre finale discussion. <laughs> I just yeah. I just yeah. dubbed this a pre finale discussion. Uh, this ran a little longer than we normally do, but you know what? Honestly, a lot of stuff kind of happened and a lot of stuff setting up. I think we got a lot of a lot of good discussion going on today, guys. I wanted you to um, let us know what you guys think. I mean, and obviously, I know you will, and I don't even have to ask anymore, do we? We just we we know you guys are going to come up with some good shit down there, and by down there, I mean in the comment section, the comment section. Whoa. Comments. Comment section. Comment section. Haley's comment. Haley's comment section. Uh, so. Having said all that, real quick, we'll, uh, we'll do a real quick, uh, Jesse, give him a real quick Comic Blitz promo. All right, so you've heard it before, comicblitz.com. Put in the code third person pod, three months, $3, there you go. Unlimited comics and a selection of over 4,500 comics. Straight, simple, to the point. Get it? Good job. Get her done. <laughs> get it, just go get it. Guys, if you want to check us out on iTunes, please do, because we're on there. That'd be awesome. Uh, if you're watching us on the tube kudos to you get to us at so on the socials at at third person i was gonna say at at third person pod don't need to double at in there at third person pod get get to us uh send us hey you know what i just thought of if you guys have like really fun memes or anything or you know any any type of walking dead uh uh paraphernalia digital paraphernalia just send it our way that'd be awesome where we tweet it we'll repost it on instagram any of that stuff, uh, that'd be kind of cool because we, we find a bunch of stuff. And if you follow us on Instagram, you'll, you'll notice that uh, we, we post a lot of like silly things, basically for anything that we like. But So go ahead and send us some stuff because there's a lot of stuff we don't know. And I know you guys are you kooky, you kooky watchers and listeners out there are all in, into all sorts of crazy shit. So uh, share with us. We'd love it. It'd be awesome. Uh, anything else, yep. guys? Is that it? Are we good? I think that's good. 
Finn. 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 Guys, thank you so much. We really appreciate all the support. And uh, we'll see you on the the season finale of The Walking Dead next episode. So thank you very much. Peace out. Peace.